to the morning update. I'm Ash Gardner. New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian is expected to make an announcement on Sydney's New Year's Eve plans later today or tomorrow. It's unclear if crowds will be allowed to attend following the Northern Beaches outbreak. While in Melbourne, there'll be no fireworks display this year or large outdoor gatherings. New South Wales has hit a coronavirus testing milestone. Four million tests have been carried out since January, while close to 100,000 people came forward to get screened over the Christmas break. It comes as Sydney health officials continued the search for patient zero. A man who attempted to make a dash for freedom from a quarantine hotel in Melbourne says he'll refuse to pay any fines or for his two-week stay. 24-year-old John Lee Berridge left his room at the Tullamarine Holiday Inn on Boxing Day after travelling from Sydney's eastern suburbs. The body of a man who disappeared while swimming in the Murray River on the New South Wales-Victoria border has been found. The 28-year-old Sri Lankan national failed to surface while swimming on Christmas Day. The NRL Integrity Unit has been informed of an incident involving Titans player David Fafita. The 20-year-old was arrested at a home on the Gold Coast following reports of trespassing. He was released without charge, though. The coronavirus pandemic is expected to result in a spike in interest in science-related careers. Chair of Pathology Awareness Australia, John Crothers, says the work of pathologists has been highlighted more than ever before. Yeah, I dare say there will be those inquiring when they're making those career choices at the end of year 12 and thinking, where will I go? And I'd like to think pathology will be one of those areas. The European Union has begun the coronavirus vaccine rollout across 27 nations. Medical workers, nursing home residents and politicians will be first in line for the Pfizer and BioNTech vaccines. Turning to sport now, India will look to extend its first innings lead over Australia when play resumes on day three of the second test at the MCG. The tourists will resume at five for 277, a lead of 82 runs. In Big Bash, Brisbane Heat took out a four-wicket win over the Hobart Hurricanes. And A-League action finally kicks off tonight after Sydney's COVID outbreak saw games delayed. Western United takes on Adelaide United in Geelong. In the entertainment news now, Jennifer Aniston has been been slammed online over a Christmas decoration. She posted a picture of a Christmas ornament engraved with the words Our First Pandemic 2020. Critics say she was making light of coronavirus. And Warner Brothers has announced it's fast-tracking Wonder Woman 3 just days after the second instalment in the franchise was released in theatres in the US. Wonder Woman 1984 had a strong response over the weekend. And that's latest from the Nova Podcasts news team. We'll see you later for another episode of The Update.